Bookies don't expect it to be that close this afternoon with Brisbane the overwhelming favourites. But Perth Glory are durable and have won 12 out of their last 16 games. So don't rule out a shot today. And Glory making some history of their own in becoming the first club to win both the A-League and its predecessor, the NSL. 50,000 fans settling into their seats. The preliminaries almost over. The seventh Hyundai A-League Grand Final set to get underway. The 27th Grand Final, all told, since the decider was introduced back in 1984. Well, on the big day, you need your big players to perform. And today we have the league's two most prolific strikers on opposite sides. Bessar Barisha, the A-League's golden boot winner with 19, but without a goal in his last seven in all competitions. And Shane Smeltz of Perth, the A-League's all-time leading goal scorer with 66 in just 102 matches. It's a first grand final, though, for both players. Defensive work to do here. Breutz free header for side Mohamed Adnan. And he couldn't keep it down. Stefanuto leaving that a little bit short. And a real clash between Smith and Smeltz. Smith put his arms up to protect himself from the onrushing New Zealander. And he caught a blow right in the face, Shane Smeltz. Got the heavy one right in the chops. Ouch. Oh, I think that's broken for sure. Dear, oh dear. Danger here for Perth. Stefanuto cuts it back. Nichols. Well, that's the first shot on target for Brisbane Raw. Perth remaining in control, at least for now. Maybe that's about to change. Ball breaking here for Barisha, who's onside. Oh, the ball just ran away from him. He kicks the turf in frustration, the Albanian. Tartalou. Perth will be angrier still with Brisbane to score here. Franic cutting inside. Ivan Franic. Oh, great stop from Danny Vukovic. Wonderful one handed stop. Well, really good penetration this from Ivan Franic. The ball probably not going out to his right side enough for him to make the contact he was seeking, but still. Here's our revolutionary third eye, a camera of Miller to lead the counter. Mehmet. Still going, Billy Mehmet. Good feet. And he's found a teammate, Travis Dodd. Smelts at the near post. Dodd can't find him, across it comes, it's in! Billy Mehmet, it might have been an own goal off Ivan Franic. Perth glory, draw first blood in the grand final. Oh, glory days here again. Well, Billy, Billy Mehmet doesn't get the credit for the silky football that he can put on. And he put this chance on with that beautiful dribble right through the heart of the football field. Travis Dodd fired the second effort back across goal, and it is an own goal from Ivan Franic. The right fullback finds himself centre field to mark Billy Mehmet. Confirmation of the crowd inside Suncourt. We had 50,182 here last year, and we've beaten that today. Fantastic effort by Brisbane football public and those who've made the long journey east from Perth as well. Suncorp Stadium, an absolute picture. Perth just caught napping for a moment. Breutsch, the angle ball in towards Stefanuto. Danger here for Perth. Across it comes towards Enrique, who goes down. There are a few half-hearted appeals for a penalty kick. Smelts. Back for Miller. It's a good ball by Liam Miller. No offside and minutes thought about launching himself towards the ball he's really put himself about Shane Smeltz and very happy with his contribution leave it to the plastic surgeons to fix him up from here but his impersonation of Hannibal Lecter has been noted we won't win any beauty contest and in fairness Harps I'm not sure this grand final will either clad in purple
Breutsch. Whipped in towards Berisha! Bessard Berisha! Restores parity in the grand final! A true goal poacher he is! He's barely had a sniff, but he's buried that one! Game on again in the grand final! 1-1! One, one. Well, just listen to the roar fans roar here at Suncorp Stadium. The showpiece stadium in Australian football has gone off and Bessar Berisha has lit the fuse. It's a punching header at the near post. It's exquisite delivery from the maestro Thomas Bruch. And the Albanian gets his noggin on the end of it. It flies past Danny Vukovic. The scores are level with five to play plus injury time. to be the third game in, in succession where Perth have had to go to extra time. That's the likelihood. There's just a couple of seconds now. Unless something remarkable happens with Brisbane in this possession. You wouldn't bet against them. Four minutes of added time have been played. Check the watch from Jared Gillett. Bratton. Breutsch slips it through. Berisha, chance to win it. Snaffled up by Van der Breek and then down goes Berisha. Penalty! Penalty for Brisbane Raw! Barisha celebrates as though they won the grand final already. Big decision by the referee. Late, late drama again in the grand final at Suncorp Stadium. It'll be the last kick of the grand final, and Brisbane will have the chance to seal back-to-back -back championships. Well, it's not going to do the Perth players any good to protest, and... I reckon all the neutrals can understand the emotion behind the reaction. The Fessar Berisha into the penalty area. He scrapped and he persevered. It's an air swing from one view. Here he goes. This will be instructive, the first replay. Not so. And he looks to pull the trigger. I'm not sure about that at all. I'm not sure about that at all. Well, I can't see a penalty, I have to say, Simon. There's the view inside the den from the third eye glasses. Amazing controversy at the death. Well, if they score the penalty here, Brisbane, Perth will argue long into the night and beyond that the spot kick should never have been awarded. It's all on this. Bessart Berisha surely to win the grand final. It's all on Danny Vukovic for Perth glory. As it was 12 months ago, it comes down to a penalty kick. And Berisha scores! And Brisbane Raw have won the grand final. Amazing scenes at Suncorp Stadium. 50,000 fans go wild. Save for 2,000 Perth Glory supporters who will argue black is white that that should never have been a penalty. It's hard to disagree on the replays, but Bessart Berisha has a brace. And while he has two, surely Ange Postacoglu's side now have back to back championships. Well, here's the replay of the situation perseverance A plus for Bessart Berisha. Liam Miller, the man in question, does he make contact? Well, that replay again doesn't really tell the story. And Bessart Berisha indeed becomes the first man to hit 20 goals in an A-League season. It's a brace on Championship Day for the Albanian. It's back-to-back -back titles for the Brisbane Raw. The first team to do it. Well, there are still a few seconds to be played out, but surely Brisbane won't be denied from here. Jared Phillips going to have a lot of questions to answer. Suncorp Stadium ready to party, or at least most of the people inside. Is the time for one final Perth opportunity? Miller trying to atone for the concession of that penalty, challenged by Breutsch. Desperate stuff from Perth. Forward it goes, the whistle blows. It is Brisbane again. Bessart Berisha with a double. 
the second from the penalty spot, hugely controversial. A massive talking point, but the grand final goes according to form. Ange Postacoglu becomes the most successful domestic coach of all time. Perth denied in the cruelest of circumstances. The full-time scoreline, Brisbane Raw 2, Perth Glory 1, Brisbane Raw, champions of Australia and the first club to win back-to-back -back titles in the A-League era.